welcome back to my channel today is such a big day we have the sectional getting delivered i'm so excited we've been moved into our new house for a little over two weeks and we've just been waiting on the delivery of the sectional it was supposed to come last tuesday but i guess they had a cancellation the guy that was supposed to come just called in last second so that was really unfortunate literally got canceled like the day of but now we are rescheduled they're about an hour and a half away so i'm just gonna make some breakfasts really quick before they come and i also want to like vacuum the rug and everything and get it ready because we do have a golden retriever if you guys are new here and she sheds like crazy so i don't want them to like put the couch on top of all of her hair and everything like that so i need to clean up a little bit but we woke up really early this morning we got up at like 6 30 and it felt so good i love waking up early i just feel so much more productive we had a cup of coffee went to the gym came back had a smoothie got ready and i've just been kind of cleaning up doing a little bit of laundry and that sort of thing but i'm so excited for the sectional to come it's gonna be so nice to just relax at night and like have i feel like it's just gonna like fill the space and make it more homey so i can't wait for that we also placed an order yesterday at best buy for a tv so i'm so excited we're getting a new tv i'll show you that later it's like my dream tv so i can't wait which sounds crazy but you guys will see what i mean when we get it um but i'm just so excited to like have that area of the house i feel like it's gonna make it cozier i think my mom might come over for dinner but all i had today was a smoothie so i think i'm gonna make a couple eggs do my famous little cafe modular dupe with the tabbouleh and hummus. It's literally my obsession lately and I'm almost out of tabbouleh. I think this is gonna be the last of it today. So I'm gonna have to run and get some more, but about to make some breakfast and start the day. My breakfast was super good. Spencer, what are you whipping up? I'm making like an omelet with uh, some mozzarella cheese and some bruschetta. Nice, very nice. So much Trader Joe's going on in this household. <laughs> also, I wanted to show you guys, I just realized I went to make the labels yesterday for my spice jars because I want to organize them in those cute little jars I bought. But I didn't even realize that it came with already labeled ones I thought I had to make them all so it's kind of nice now because now I can just do the ones that I have already and then the ones that I don't I can just like make a label for or whatever but hopefully I'll have some time today to do this because I've been needing to but we also really need to clean up this living room because it's just like a kind of a mess it's not that bad but I need to vacuum the rug I still need to like figure out where I'm gonna put this vacuum I want to put it in one of the closets down here but there's nowhere to plug it in. So I guess I could store it in there, but when it's charging, have it pulled out somewhere. But these are our box springs that we got when we ordered um, our mattress. The lady told us that we would need them. And then with the way our bed is, we actually didn't need them. It, the mattress was like sitting way too high above the headboard. So unfortunately they wouldn't return them. So now we're kind of stuck with them. I don't know if we're gonna like try and sell them or maybe we're just gonna like hold on to them and use them like in the guest bedroom eventually. I don't know. It's like basically for a king. So it's too twin extra long. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Probably carry them down in the basement for now. And then I also need to clear out these boxes. A lot of it's just stuff that needs unpacked and we have no home for yet, like decorative stuff. And there's also some office supplies. So we'll probably take that upstairs. But I'm imagining the sectional going this way. And then obviously the TV will be here. We're gonna have a fireplace built in here in the next few months, hopefully. Nothing set in stone yet. We still need to get some quotes and figure out who the heck can do it for us. But I think it'll look really nice once it's all put together. And we also still need to order a coffee table, but that'll all come. Lucy, you wanna say good morning to the vlog? She's a little distracted by the eggs. All right, let's go ahead and carry these box burns down the basement. They weren't too heavy before, right? We carried them. I don't remember. Yeah, they're very light. I could probably carry myself. Do you want to go backwards or forward? Sit short, 
Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know about to try this Olipop. I don't think I've ever had an Olipop. I usually buy the poppies, but my grocery store didn't have any, so I'm trying this one out. I love the, I think it's like the strawberry lemonade poppy. So this is the cherry vanilla. It sounded good. If you guys aren't familiar with these, I think they're like a, yeah, prebiotic drink. It's supposed to help support digestive health, and it's just kind of like a healthy soda alternative. And to be honest, I like never drink actual soda or pop, whatever you call it. I'm from Ohio, so everyone here calls it pop, but when I moved to New York, everybody called it soda. So I call it both. I, I usually call it soda, though, to be honest. So let's try this. Mmm, this is really good. I think I still like the poppy a little bit better, but this is so yummy. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys some of our bedroom updates. We got a lot done this weekend, I feel like. So first things first, we finally, finally, finally got a body mirror. You guys know I was saying how I was being so picky. We went to Home Goods, Target, Hobby Lobby. I feel like we looked seriously everywhere for a good neutral body mirror. And believe it or not, I got this at Walmart. <laughs> So funny, I never would have guessed that Walmart would have what I was looking for, but I'll have this link down below if I can find it. I think it was like the Home and Garden something collection, but it's just like a neutral. I like that it looks like a light wood. It's like the best one I've seen. I don't know. I wasn't impressed with anything they had at Home Goods. Also, Spencer finally put up some blinds, so that's been really nice as well. I still need to get some artwork for up here, and I also want to get like a big throw blanket. I have also seen some people, I saw like a hack, I was watching this YouTube video on how to make your home look more luxurious, and they were saying to double up on comforters, that way it looks like fluffier, so I don't know. I was thinking about doing that, but I have to say, I absolutely love our bed frame. It's one of our favorite purchases, other than like these Target lamps or everything. I love the Pottery Barn furniture here. We also also have the other matching dresser coming this Thursday I'm so excited for that but anyways back to the bed frame I love this it's such a good RH dupe literally in love with it I think it looks so nice so classy I love how it's simple I love the low headboard because it gives you that option to elevate the space with some big artwork I don't know if I want to do like two frames or canvases or just one I'm kind of thinking two. let me know what you guys think but the couch guys should be here soon, so I'm gonna relax, enjoy this Ollie Pop until they get here, and then after they put together the couch, we'll probably head to Best Buy to get the TV. have a couch i'm so excited it looks so good so here's the big reveal we absolutely love it they put it together really fast um we got it from the website coolman furniture i'll have this exact one linked down below we were thinking that there was an additional piece here so we'll probably 
have to order one because I don't know, we thought we did, but apparently we didn't. But it looks so comfy. And it's still so big. Lucy loves it. Um, the material's really soft and these are so like squishy. This is obviously, if you guys aren't familiar with restoration hardware, this is like a dupe of their cloud couch. And it's such good quality for the price. Like the deal is honestly unbeatable compared to some of the other dupes. I did so much research online before we ordered this one. There are a lot of dupes online, but it's like trying to find a good one for the price. And this one was definitely the cheapest and the quality is seriously so good. We were saying like how comfy it'd be to like curl up and take a nap in this corner. But especially when we get the additional piece right here, it'll be even bigger. And I'm just so excited to have family over, sit here watch TV, we'll have our fireplace eventually. It looks so good though, I'm so happy. We still need to get a coffee table. I'm kind of thinking like a giant square one or maybe a circle, but it ties together the whole like kitchen area really nicely as well. And Lucy, she's a big fan, even though she's not gonna be allowed on it because it's white. But that's okay, she likes to lay at our feet anyways, right Luce? So now we're on our way to Best Buy. First though, we're gonna go to Starbucks because I just saw on my app they're doing a new thing. It's Summer Tuesdays or Tuesdays, but you get 50% off one cold beverage on Tuesdays of July, so had to obviously swing by. Also, I think we need to replace the water filter on our espresso machine because it hasn't been pouring out as much as it should, so I might pick up one of those at Best Buy. I don't know if they sell them, do they? They might, because they sell them just the machine, right? Yeah, they I don't know, we can them. look. You might have to order on Breville's website, I'm not sure. Hi, can I get a uh, large cinnamon dolce? Okay. Yes. Um, could you do one less pump of the syrup? Yeah, is that hot or iced? Iced. And that should be it. Thank you. You too. Thank you. How good does this drink look? This is my new favorite. It's a cinnamon dolce iced latte. I love it because it kind of has that like cinnamon fall taste to it. And I've kind of been craving like fall and just like cooler weather. It's been so hot lately. Okay. So we're back home now. I just opened up my order from Run the Runway. I got some super cute stuff this order. I figured I'd go ahead and try it on actually to show you guys. I'm hoping these jeans fit. They honestly look a little small in person. So I'm going to try these on, show you everything I got. I love this piece. So these are the first two pieces. This top is the brand Scotch and Soda. I love turtlenecks as you guys know and I love like the marbled effect. And I love that it's also like this very lightweight material so you can get away with wearing it in the summertime. I think it's really flattering. It's like kind of a little sheer, um, but you can still get away with like wearing undergarments underneath. And I just think this is such a fun top for summer. You could wear this going out or just to like go shopping, go to brunch, something like that. And then these jeans I thought were gonna be a little too small, but they actually fit like a glove and I'm obsessed with them. I love the two-tone denim. I think they're so fun. I probably wouldn't wear this together because there's like a lot going on with the two-tone denim and also this like pattern top, but I love these. I think they're so cute. These are the brand Current Elliott and the back also has like the same two-tone detailing going on. I think these are so freaking cute. And honestly, I may consider purchasing these so that I can have them because I would wear these all the time. I just think they're such a fun take on like a normal pair of jeans. I love the like crop length. They're just so cute for summer. So definitely love these two pieces. I'll go ahead and try on the other ones. Oh my God, you guys, I'm obsessed with this little button down jacket shirt, I guess like a shacket. It's from R13, which is a very expensive brand. This may be one of my favorite things I've ever rented from Rent the Runway. I'm literally obsessed. It's definitely more of like a fall piece rather than summer. So you would have to wear it on like either a summer evening or just like a cooler summer day, maybe to like a bonfire. I just love like the raw hem and the plaid detail. I don't know what it is. I think I'm just ready for fall, guys. You guys know in my last vlog, I showed you like a new fall jacket I got and then I was like picking out fall styles on Rent the Runway. Um, and then these pants are Marissa Webb and I think these are super fun. I was like trying to figure out this belt. It's like really wrinkled, so I'm not even gonna show it, but I think they're fun. They're kind of like a baggier cargo pant, but not too baggy. I like the pocket details and I just think they're fun. I like the army green color too, definitely. A very fall outfit. I don't know if I would really pair these two things together, but I'm really happy with my order this week. My last order, I actually didn't wear anything. I sent it all back. 
um, but I really love these items. So I'll have my code to sign up down below. I pay out of pocket every month for this. I just like genuinely really like having new clothes coming in the mail and it gives you the option to like try out new styles that maybe you typically wouldn't purchase full price and you're also getting like designer pieces at a much lower price than you normally would pay. So yeah, I'm really happy with the purchase this week though. I feel like it was all really cute stuff. All right, so mom's here for dinner. So tonight I made buffalo chicken zucchini boats. It's super easy, you just cut a zucchini in half, scoop out the guts, boil some chicken breast, shred it, mix it in with some Frank's Red Hot, and then I sprinkled some cheese on Spencer's. My mom and I don't really like cheese that much, so just left it as it is, and then I just need to put foil on top and we're good to go. Done. It looks so good. The cheese is sizzling. Excited. I love this meal. All right. So my mom just left. It was so nice having dinner with her and getting to hang out for a little bit. But you guys are probably wondering why I haven't showed our TV. And of course, as we have had issues with every single thing we have bought for this house and every single delivery, there was a problem with the TV. There was no remote no cords and no like i think they call them legs um to stand it up so basically we can't even use our brand new tv that we just spent a lot of money on go figure at this point though i'm not even surprised it's just how literally everything has gone like i'm surprised the couch even worked out the way it did i mean obviously that was delayed and pushed back but seriously guys if you have been following along with this move it seems like everything has had an issue and i know there's like so much going on with the distribution and like delivery world and all that but it's just so frustrating that even our tv like i was so looking forward tonight to like curling up on the couch and watching the last two episodes of stranger things and now we can't do that but i think what we're gonna do is take the tv it's in our bedroom right now but the plan is to actually move that to the loft but i think for now we may move it down here in the living room just so we can hang out on our couch obviously we want to like spend time down here and relax so I think we may do that because we are down to the last two episodes of Stranger Things. I'm so excited to watch it. We didn't watch any last night because we got home really late. We ended up going to my sister's. She had like a little family party. Um, so I think we're probably just gonna hang out down here, but dinner was really good. You guys should try out that zucchini buffalo chicken boat recipe. It's so good. I think I found it on Pinterest back in like college I was making it and I've been making it ever since. It's just like a nice, it's like pretty healthy I feel like. We've also been like calling back and forth with the store trying to tell them like nothing was included but they're kind of giving us trouble and like every time we call they have to like call the store and then we have to wait for a call back from the store and then the store finally called back and Spencer missed the call so then we called them back and they basically said like we have to wait for a call back again so it's now eight o'clock they're closing and we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow so it is what it is but at least we have a tv i guess kind of sort of we can't use it so it's kind of pointless but um yeah just you know go figure it's how it's been going but i hope that you guys enjoyed spending the day with me i hope you guys like my new couch thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye